Hi, welcome to the Quinta and it's an absolutely beautiful morning. Uh, the temperature is really, really nice at this time of day and I've just been doing morning chores. So come along. Do appear to have a wasp problem, don't we, Maya? I'm afraid. And those horrible little pussy cats don't help by stealing your food. Oh. Maya, it's all right. Really good crop of pears this year, and I keep bashing my head on this one. Mm. Nice. So this year we decided to uh, play around with a slightly different irrigation system and um, we're using these but yeah we're getting blocked up with uh, algae that's coming down the pipe so I'm not entirely sure how long we're going to use these but a little bit of a rinse out and they seem to be working all right. The nice thing about this is we can just leave it going and not worry at all about it. Apart from, of course, unblocking these holes. Plenty of pressure in there. All I need to do is to flush the whole pipe out. Still. Yeah, I was putting the uh, chickens to bed the other day and there was one less. So I guess that was it. But we do get the odd eagle coming over. And uh, it's one of the problems with having birds that are, you know, completely free range. They are slightly more vulnerable to predators. So, yeah, I don't know what you do about that, really. I mean, obviously you don't want to lose too much livestock and we are you know as careful as we can be but we do want the animals to have a great life and to be free um yeah annoying though oh um right i'm walking up to the beehive because i want to see whether we have still got the uh asian hornets flying around them right happy bees although i did just see a hornet flying around and I just want to see whether that comes back. There it is. Can you see? Now, I am not sure if that is one of these Asian hornets, renowned for eating bees. But at least it should be able to get into the actual colony because we've got these uh, traps. It does look like it's trying to catch them in the air. Let's see whether I can get it from over here. They seem fairly good. I'm going to have a look at them a bit later on. Oh. Right, hello frogs. So, this is looking quite good actually. Not too much algae. And uh, that's a jolly good thing. It's uh, taken a little bit of a while for it to settle back down after we cleaned it out the other day. And uh, here's the footage from
to be able to. Can you grab it there? Oh, no. Where exactly is it? It's this here. You can feel it there, you see? That's the end. Yeah. And I'll need to do and put it up at the same time. Oh. Right. What it needs to do, it needs to rotate a bit. Right. You might have to get in. When it's more empty. No, it's not going to get more empty, is it? Plug out. Close to the bees, and Nicholas, of course, has just been stung on the ear, so he's gone to go and sort that out. See how long it takes this to go down a bit. Is there a stone there? Yep. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's the one you want to get behind and pull out of the way. And then that should actually send the water down in front of you. Give it a really good pull out of the way. That was what was yeah. Yeah, I sealed it up so the water overflow went down to where we wanted it. Oops, kept the pipe. Yeah. All right, finally empty. How many times did you get stung? Once, only once. Stung a few times and Nicholas got stung enough so he's run off. So uh, yeah, the sighting of the beehive next to where we are working. Ho hum. So as you've uh, possibly seen in other videos, these bees do get a little bit feisty for the uh, day or two after we've opened up the hives and sometimes they're just feisty for the heck of it. And uh, yeah, the day we were cleaning out the tank, <laughs> they were particularly feisty. I think all of us got stung. Still, they say it's a really good thing for arthritis. And I spoke to a friend of mine who's a doctor and said, well, look, bee stings, they're apparently really good for arthritis. And she said, yeah, that's fine, uh, but it's rather contraindicated with anaphylaxis. So don't take my word for it and go and get yourself stung. But my fingers seem to be pretty good and they were a little bit crunchy uh, before I started keeping bees. So, a bit of anecdotal stuff there. How are we doing pigeons? Bop, bop. So yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. <laughs> they like uh, coming out in the morning. Here they go. We have been seeing quite a lot in the media about temperatures being really, 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 really hot. Um, it's been 27 degrees as uh, 
about the highest temperature we've seen here. I take uh, recordings in the shade um, every single day. Uh, you know, the whole of July, I think we got into the 30s once. So it is beautiful. It is wonderful summer weather here. And I just wanted to, um, without saying anything political, just say enjoy the summer. Scared. No, I'm not scared. I'm like <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, that's cool.